Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Renee Murphy. Doug Prophet has this holiday off. We will be looking at your 4th of July celebrations in just a moment. But first, here, our top story. We're looking at the charges being brought against a U.S. soldier. Supporters say that Private First Class James Brewmeister should be back in Oregon with his family this 4th of July holiday. But instead, he is being held at Fort Knox, facing a court-martial on AWOL and desertion charges. WHAS 11's Kelsey Starks joins us now with more on our top story. Kelsey. 23 year old James Burmeister has been held at Fort Knox for five months now. He is charged with deserting his army unit while on leave from Iraq. Yesterday he got a court martial date, but his friends and family say because he suffers from head injuries and post traumatic stress disorder after surviving a roadside bomb attack in Iraq, they're hoping some of those charges can be dismissed. My son is an Iraqi war veteran, and I'm very proud of him today. He fought bravely in Iraq. He followed orders. He was wounded in a roadside bomb, and he had been diagnosed with PTSD and a possible brain injury. Video blogger James Pence followed Helen Burmeister to Fort Knox last week, where she was fighting for her son, hoping to get him out of Fort Knox. PFC James Burmeister enlisted in the Army in June of 2005. Two years later, while on leave, he went AWOL, absent without leave, to Canada. After 10 months, he turned himself in to Fort Knox. He went AWOL after six months of being there when he was back in, in Germany on his rest and recuperation because he didn't feel that the treatment that he was getting for his injuries were proper, were up to par with what he should be getting. Fort Knox is one of only two military processing centers for Army deserters. Nearly 5,000 Army soldiers were charged with deserting last year. That's a number up 92 percent from 2004. They really do need to find more solutions. Harold Trainer and his wife Carol are no, following James I'm case sure very closely here in Louisville. The they both today. served in the military during Vietnam. It's not rare that there are so many suffering from PTSD today that aren't getting help. That part's not rare. Uh, and it's not even rare that we have AWOLs anymore. Um, the rare thing is how aggressive the Army is going after James instead of just giving him a discharge. Those young men and women give our country and our government a blank check when they sign to go in the military. Well, the country and the government really needs to give them a blank check back to take care of them. Now, a Fort Knox spokesperson did not return our phone calls this afternoon. If James is convicted of desertion, he could get a dishonorable discharge and even face time in prison. His court martial date, by the way, is scheduled for July the 16th. Kelsey Starks, WHAS 11 News.